Hey everybody, welcome back to The Frugal Filmmaker. You might recall a short time ago I made a video called The Itsy Bitsy Slider, which is where I took a free sample from the Igus Corporation, which consisted of a small slider carriage and short piece of rail, and turned it into a functioning camera slider. And as a result of that video, there were a lot of requests for those free samples, and Igus has fulfilled them all, to the best of my knowledge, and they recently responded with their own video, which they've sent to me exclusively to share with you. Now this video isn't just a commercial for Igus, it actually includes me, it includes you, and it has some awesome maintenance tips to take care of your slider, whether it's based on the Itsy Bitsy version or a retail version. So check out the video, here it is in its entirety, and stay tuned afterwards, and I will share with you some information they shared with me on how to get some discounts on various Igus parts. Hello filmmakers and photographers, my name is Matt Mowry. I'm the Dryland Linear Bearing Product Manager for Igus in North America. And today I'm at the Igus Motion Plastics World Headquarters here in Cologne, Germany, just to give you a little bit more information about our products and how you might use them on your next DIY project. Now before I get too into it, I do need to thank Scott, the frugal filmmaker, who made a short video about this Dryland W sleeve sample. And I also want to thank many of the thousands of people who ordered one for themselves for their own DIY project. Now, many of you may not be familiar with Igus. Well, we make motion plastics for industrial machinery primarily. Um, anything from welding robots, agricultural machinery, pick and place machines, packaging machines, 3D printers, CNC. Igus offers products that solve a wide range of applications. So the slide and the carriage are aluminum and zinc. But what makes this very, very special is this bearing liner right here. This liner is a specially tribo-optimized material that slides with very low friction, very quietly, and most importantly, without any oil or maintenance required. That means if you're doing a shoot, that means if you're somewhere where there's a lot of dirt and dust, that the oil won't draw in that dirt and dust, um, meaning that your shots will be very smooth as you use the camera equipment. Speaking of lubrication, let's talk about the proper care and feeding of your Dryland W slider. Number one thing is, these parts do not require lubricant, so no oil, no grease. That plastic slider that I just showed you is embedded with a solid lubrication system that embeds itself into the aluminum profile guide as you slide it back and forth. By adding oil or grease, you're only going to cause problems with the attraction of dirt and dust later on and, and have a part that's really messy. Another very important point is to make sure that you keep your bearing blocks properly aligned. Maybe you, you got your product or maybe you took it apart at one point and found that it was very difficult to move. In fact, this one's extremely tight and that's gonna mean you're not gonna get very smooth shots. What you're going to want to do is to grab an M4 metric Allen wrench and then loosen the bolts like this. Then what you'll do, now make sure it moves back and forth, very easy. Just apply a slight load in the center, and what happens here is that these zinc blocks align themselves to the rail. And then just simply tighten down the four bolts in a star pattern, just a little bit tight. Um, and then you wanna check to make sure that it still moves very easily. And then apply the load again and make it just a little bit more snug and what's going to happen now is you probably will never need to realign it again and you'll have a part that moves very easy and very free. Another thing you might want to try, and this is not the most uh, engineered approach, is you can simply, and you didn't hear it from me by the way, you can simply grab a small mallet like this and again have a part that's tight, won't move. Simply give it a knock in the center, maybe flip it over, give it a knock in the side. And now you have a part that moves free and easy. So how are you going to clean your camera slider in case it gets a little bit dirty? Let's say just a little bit dirty. I don't think you'd want to do this if your camera was attached. But basically because there's no lubrication, there's no oil and grease to cause the sand to stick in the system. In fact, it'll still move nice and smooth. But all you're going to want to do, just give it a quick rinse with some water. Then let it dry off or use a towel and you're back in business. Okay, another really cool product that we offer is what we call the Dryland W Hybrid Bearing System. It works a little bit different than our traditional liner. Again, the liner system is great. It has a nice smooth balance friction. It's very quiet and again, requires no oil or maintenance. However, it does have higher friction than the hybrid system. The hybrid system, as you see, moves a lot freer and a lot easier. It still actually uses a liner, 
but we've also incorporated a small rolling wheel in the system, which gets that nice low friction movement. The video you're watching right now is actually being shot on this type of system. Now you may find our small Dryland W sleeve sample just a little too short or just a little too limited in what you're really trying to achieve. If that's the case, I recommend you go to our website, check out our web shop, and configure your own rail. We have rails up to four meters long, though the most common is a meter long for the camera slider, uh, the DIY community. You can choose different options, such as parts that are pre-drilled on the top plate and the end blocks. Options you may want to consider are lightning holes in the rail to make it easier to transport, or one that I personally like, which we call our Dryland W mono carriage, which is a one-piece design so it enables easier assembly and disassembly. And finally, for those of you a little bit more ambitious, we can offer what we call our Dryland E ZLW basic belt drive in which you can motorize your camera slider. All right, I really hope today you were able to learn something more about IGIS Motion Plastics and in specific the Dryland W product line. Uh, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and please, if you use our products for one of your DIY projects, give us some feedback, post it on the internet. We'd love to hear more from you. Okay, so let's say you want to extend the usefulness of your slider. Well, if you check the description below, there's a link to part numbers and a discount code that will allow you to get other things from IGUS, including longer rails at a 20% discount. The catch is you do have to call in with the part number and the discount code to get the discount instead of doing it online. And that's unfortunate, but I think it's because IGUS is used to dealing with businesses and not individuals, so you do have to go through that extra step. Still a great deal. I'd like to thank IGUS for sending this video, for sending the discount code, and also for all the free samples they sent out to everybody watching my previous video. They've been really awesome about the whole situation. Now, if you like this video and you like other tips for various DIY filmmaking whatever, please come to thefrugalfilmmaker.com for more. Thanks for watching.